Ah, <laughs> oh, let me get that. The cuisine boys are out again, looking for some different culinary experiences to fill our belly. Today, we explore the cuisine of Afghanistan. Afghanistan, Afghanistan. Um, again, super excited uh, to try Afghan food. Now, I'm not gonna lie, both Martin and I are big fans of Afghan food. We've tried it before. Uh, the only difference this time around is we're going to somewhere that we've not been before. So um, we're going to the Red Camel in Leighton Stone. Afghan food, you just, you can't go wrong really. Nah. Um, you know, bordering Pakistan, Iran, some of the Central Asian countries. It's really a melting pot, I think. A melting pot of, of spices and flavors. Obviously it was, it was one of the routes on the old Silk Road. Um, Persian influences, Indian influences from the Mughals. Um, so it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be great. The main dish for the Afghans, the Holy Grail is the Kabuli Pulao. Yeah. And surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, more surprise. Rice. More, more rice, rice more pilau. More rice, list. more pilau. <laughs> and um, yeah, Afghanistan rice is such a valuable thing. It's, it, it's kind of a make or break for your reputation. If you bring someone to your house or to your wedding, the, the rice, rice has to be on the point. The rice has to be on point. It's important, it's important. Right guys, we've come to the Red Camel in Leytonstone. This is where we're gonna be trying Afghan cuisine today and we're very very excited. Let's go inside. So we've got our food and I'm telling you this is so excited to try it. The spread is unbelievable. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try uh, firstly a very um, very famous Afghan kebab. We're gonna try the shabti kebab. Okay so it's a long big kebab almost like a shami kebab. It's served with tomatoes which have been charred beautifully and sprinkled with salt. Perfect, that's exactly how I like it, with a nice bit of, nice bit of bread. So I'm just gonna dig in now, just for the first reaction, let's see how it, how it goes. Ah, before I start, I cannot forget this unbelievable chutney. Green chilies, coriander. Ah, oh, the smell of it is unreal. So I'm gonna use this as well. Put, put some of that on here, and go for it. Oh my god, the tanginess of this, this is unbelievable. The tanginess of this chutney with this meat here is so, so good. This is unbelievable, look. So many different spices, so many different chilies, everything in there. So we spoke earlier about how amazing a location Afghanistan is in. It's bordering obviously Persia, get so many spices and influences from there. Over the years, it's learned from the Mughal Empire. But crucially, it's also had influences from the Mongols in many ways. And one of the ways they've done that is through their noodles slash pastries slash dumplings, which you guys all know I absolutely love. So what we're gonna try now is mantu, which is a traditional Afghan dumpling. Uh, and it's basically peppered with lentils. Spicy, not too spicy, but just spiced lentils. And then top order is that amazing yogurt sauce, which Afghans love in all of their food. I'm gonna cut this open and you can see stuffed in this amazing dumpling is lamb, a beautifully spiced uh, bit of lamb. So this is one of the national favorites in Afghanistan and it's one of my favorite dishes, one of my favorite dumplings. And you guys know how I love dumplings. Oh. oh my god, that is just perfect, perfect, you've got sauce everywhere which is amazing, I love it saucy, the dumpling is the perfect consistency, cooked really well, it's got the right amount of doughiness to it, right amount of chewiness to it, and then that lentil, the big lentils, they're just soft, soft and uh, uh, got a little bit of crunch to it as well, all works wonderfully. Alright, so now, we're going to try a dish, uh, an Afghani dish, traditional dish called the Arshak. Now, if you have a look at this plate, you wouldn't be fooled to, or you wouldn't be too surprised to think that, oh, actually, this looks like an Italian tortellini. But well, actually, it's a pasta variation that the Afghans have filled with leeks, 
chives, and it's covered in the most beautiful yogurt sauce. And as you would expect, look at how much lentils we get with it as well. Lentils on a bed of yogurt with yogurt topping. Ah, uh, this is going to be unreal. And if you don't know, pasta is one of my favorite dishes. So to get it at Afghan place, to get a traditional Afghan pasta or tortellini is is unbelievable. So I'm going to give this a go. Let's see how it how it tastes. Ready? Let's go. So good. It's so light. The pasta itself is really, really light. The filling is light. It's not too heavy. And actually, the, the tanginess that you get with the yogurt and the spice you get with the with the lentils, the, the chunky chickpea type lentils, really complements the dish so well. I mean, I, I could eat a whole plate of this and I think I'm gonna. Save some for me. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna try one of the very rare vegetarian dishes you can find in the Afghan establishment. And this is the Banjan Barani, which is uh, aubergine stew. So what they do here is they get aubergine, they pan fry them until they're nice and gooey as all good aubergine should be and then it's mixed in a beautiful tomato sauce with uh, some peppers as well so there's a beautiful beautiful uh, flavorsome dish there and then obviously they got to pepper it in that famous yogurt sauce that they absolutely love oh wow this looks so good the aubergine is cooked perfectly this is about to get messy let's get a glimpse <laughs> Oh my word, that is phenomenal. So good. Fresh aubergine. I love aubergine, unlike Naeem. But this is so, so good. It's cooked fresh, it's warm, it's comforting. It's soaked in that wonderful yogurt sauce as well. The flavors are exploding on my taste bud. Really, really good. A really highly recommended vegetarian option as well. Now, I've got the absolute pleasure trying or having the first try of the showstopper itself the Kabuli Pilau now to give you a brief introduction of this kind of showstopper here we've got pilau rice as you can see a long grain rice cooked with carrots raisins but also it comes with the most tender of meats we've got here lamb so you can see it's got a lot of fat to it as well it's got a lot of flavor I'm gonna go for it mm. I'm lost for words Ooh. when I tell you you'd expect with all this kind of uh, with the carrots and the sultanas that you'll have some sweetness to it you do you have some sweetness but it packs such a flavorful punch it's got really really good spices mixed to this it might look you know a lot of people might say oh you know it could be plain rice. It's not. You could have this. I could have all of this to myself. The flavors are unbelievable. Oh, this definitely is a showstopper. Wait, give me some. Give me some. Give, give, give. I want some. Right. So I've managed to wrestle the great Kabuli Pulao of Naeem now. And now it's my time to try this bad boy. This is the national dish of Afghanistan. It's just so amazing and it's associated with their rich culture. It's sweet, long grain rice that's cooked. It's got the perfect oily consistency and then topped off is that lamb, slow cooked lamb that's got natural bits of fats in it. And of course those fats are just left to ooze all over the rice. It gives it the perfect, perfect texture. Before I go in, I'm gonna have to oh, give it some no. of this. You missed out on this. Oh, no. This is the Afghani green chili sauce. Now this is literally just green chilies and coriander and it's just pummeled up. It's such a good sauce. You take a whiff of it and you just get that freshness going through your nostrils. It's so aromatic and even more flavoursome. You get a really good kick from it. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that over my rice. This is the best way to do it. And then we get a little bit of the fatty, fatty meat, a bit of the rice, make sure to get all the carrots and raisins in. Look at that. Cheers. Oh my word. Man, oh man, oh man. How good. That is phenomenal. That chili sauce works so well with the rice. 
I can like you eat this entire plate by myself. It's so good. It's so fragrant. It's got all of the right flavors in it. And then, you know, that distinction, that juxtaposition between the sweetness of the carrots and the sultanas and then the tanginess and the chilliness of that green chili sauce works so well together in the mouth. You have to try Kabuli Pilaf. So we just finished our munch. Um, Red Camel, Leighton Stone, Afghani Cuisine. Our bellies are full. Taste buds have been tingled. Mante, what did you make of it? I mean, that was a special meal, wasn't it? I mean, when you go when you go into Red Camel, it feels very much like a local kebabish yeah. or a you know like a local cafeteria kind of place yeah. that you'd go to for a quick lunch when you're in secondary school or something like that. Yeah. Um, so I, I welcome that. I mean, that gave it an, an element of homeliness and a warm feeling, which I liked. It felt very much like a canteen, which I liked. And then the food modesty. was... Modesty, yeah, it was modest. It was humble. But you try the food and it is incredible. It, it tasted better than many, you know, elite restaurants, Afghan elite yeah. restaurants, Iranian, Persian elite restaurants that have eaten the food at. So... You know, you can't discredit the food at all. It was very, very good. Um, we got a variety of things. We tried pretty much um, as much as our belly could take, I think. Now, all, all in all, look, I've had Afghan food a lot of times. Yeah. don't know if you guys have. If you haven't, definitely try it. Uh, and I'd say go to this place. Go to Red Camel in Leightonstone. We had things with meat. We had vegetarian options. We had different kind of flavours. And what... What made me, what surprised me a bit, now I've, I've had Afghani cuisine before, a few times, and the places that we go to are very, very focused on meat, mm. and of course the Kabuli pilau, so you've got your staple, the showstopper, you've got that. But what we had there, we had like a aubergine stew, that was very different, I've not never tried an Afghan aubergine stew. I'm a big fan of pasta, and to see a very traditional Afghani pasta dish on the menu with your lentils with the yogurt um was very very interesting and and quite surprising for me so i really enjoyed that and it's not just uh, you're going for a kebab or you're going for a curry it's there's a very very good vast variety mm. so i really enjoyed it and of course the food was was very flavorsome i mean one of the one of the key elements for that was definitely the green chutney the green mm. chutney always 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 goes off um, Afghani cuisine I could eat that with absolutely everything so I thoroughly enjoyed it thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and, and you know can't move at the moment that point that you raised is, is crucial don't don't be deceived into thinking Afghan food is in any shape or form it's just, like Indian, just Indian or Pakistani or, Pakistani. or Southeast it Asian is, it is not like yeah it's very very different it's very very unique it's got its own vibes to it yeah. and like we mentioned the geography of it the history of it means that it's got mixes from different places it's got the persian influences and then the mongol sides it's got the the pasta the noodles that kind of stuff and that's why you get the amazing dumpling so definitely give it a try you will try you will find curries there but even those curries very different from Indian curry. Yeah. If you're someone who can't handle spice as well, Afghan food is a really good option. Um, but packed with a flavour. Packed, packed with, full yeah, of flavor. full of flavour. I mean, it's, 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 yeah, when I say spice, I mean heat. Yeah. Flavour-wise, they've got so much yeah, flavour yeah, yeah. going for them. Yeah. And that green chilli sauce, it's... That, it goes with everything. Every single thing that we had, it went with it. I, drizzled, I, I tipped over everything. And it's freshly made, freshly yeah. made. When we, we spoke to the owner and he said, look, I have to make a whole batch of this twice a week, so... You know, they don't use any store-bought stuff. It's, yeah. it's made by hand and you can taste that in every bite. Uh, hope you liked our video. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, we're trying to get videos out every week, every Wednesday, a cuisine episode. So make sure you hit the notification button. So yeah, thanks and uh, see you next time. See Bye. You.